What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video on the Philistine YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'll be going through my AFL 2023 round 14 tips and predictions. And obviously, as well as that, like we always do, I'm going to be going back over my round 13 tips from last week and seeing how I went. If you guys go on to enjoy today's video, it would really, really mean heaps if you could please um, leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, a like and sub would be really much appreciated. Uh, I'm currently on the road now to 500 subs, and I'm trying to get there as soon as possible. So if you haven't clicked the big red subscribe button down below uh, yet, then now's your time to do so. But anyways, guys, without any further ado, let's get straight on reviewing my round 13 tips from last week. So looking back on my round 13 tips from last week, I got a score of 4 out of 8 for round number 13. Again, another pretty average round of tipping for myself even though it wasn't you know a complete uh, nine game uh, round it was still another pretty poor round to be honest four out of eight uh, yeah definitely not uh, the best score there from myself but we'll quickly go back over the games from last week starting off uh, on the Thursday night uh, this game was actually um, it was Sydney taking on St. Kilda. Uh, yeah, I tipped Sydney by five points in this one, thinking uh, they would get up and respond in this game. But that didn't happen. Uh, St. Kilda uh, pulling off a pretty big win uh, for their season. Obviously, we know the Saints. They often drop off uh, in second halves of the seasons. And I thought uh, this game would probably be the start of something like that. But I was pleasantly surprised by the Saints' um, effort. They really just outgrunted the Swans in this match. And uh, yeah, got that tip incorrect there. Fair play to the Saints. Uh, moving over now to Marvel Stadium. Uh, we had the Bulldogs taking on Port Adelaide. I tipped Port Adelaide in this one and uh, yeah, got that tip correct. Um, yeah, Port Adelaide, uh, it was a bit of a seesawing match, to be honest. It was actually quite a good game of footy, if I'm going to be entirely honest. But um, yeah, I did tip Port Adelaide to win that match, so I got that tip correct. Uh, and then moving down now to the MCG, again, another massive upset. Uh, we've had a lot of upsets this season, but another massive upset uh, caused by none other than the Hawks. Again, Hawthorne surprising everyone in this one. Um, they actually beat Brisbane uh, at the MCG, so... Um, that's a huge. That's another huge upset uh, for the Hawks um, this season. They seem to be the upset kings uh, this year. The Hawks. Uh, I remember a couple of rounds ago they beat St Kilda at Marvel. Um, I think they came from behind as well in this match. So, yeah, got that tip incorrect there. I really thought Brisbane would win that, but fair play to uh, you if you tipped Hawthorne in this match. And then moving down now to the Adelaide Oval, and this was just a crucifixion by the Crows. The Eagles just completely just oh. 120 point loss um, for West Coast just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. Great, great result there from the Crows. Just completely outclassed the Eagles, even though the Eagles uh, weren't at their absolute best and did have some moments. The Crows were just next level to the Eagles. There was really no contest. And then moving down now to Optus Stadium, uh, I tipped Richmond to beat Freo. Got that tip correct there. That was a bit of a risky tip, I'd say. If you tipped Richmond, then it was a bit of a risk. But thankfully for those who did tip Richmond, it did pay off. And then moving down now to Blundstone Arena, I tipped GWS uh, to beat North Melbourne. So got that tip correct as well. Um, yeah, it was a really seesawing contest as well, this one. I think it was quite a good contest. Uh, but obviously, in that last quarter, GWS just proved that they're just a step above North Melbourne uh, in this season. And they got a pretty nice 28-point win uh, away from home, which is definitely what they needed after just barely losing to Richmond uh, the week before. But nonetheless, got that tip correct there as well. And then the final two games of the round is where it really just took a hit for me. I was looking good until these last two matches. I tipped Carlton to beat Essendon. God, I am so stupid. Um, yeah, I don't know why I tipped Carlton, to be honest. I just had a feeling maybe they would pull off something here, the Blues. But that really didn't happen, to be honest. That second half, it was all Essendon in that second half. Um, yeah, definitely a lot of things to be excited about uh, down at Bomberland at the moment. Uh, they are on track to making finals at the moment, the Bombers, as it stands. And the final game of the round, I tipped Collingwood to beat Melbourne. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, Collingwood... Um, just barely losing though, it was four points. It really shouldn't have been four points though, to be honest. Melbourne were clearly the better side, especially uh, in the last quarter, but Collingwood got a few late consolation goals just to make Melbourne a little nervous and maybe make the scoreboard so much more respectable than it probably should have been. But nonetheless, I got that tip incorrect as well. Um, so yeah, like I said, that brings me to a total of four out of eight uh, for round number 13. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Those were my round 13 tips from last week. Now let's move on to my round 14 tips. Alrighty, so here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Round number 14. 
Um, and again, this is another week of the buy round. So once again, uh, there'll be less games to go over this round. Uh, it's still not quite uh, the full nine game round. Nonetheless, the first game uh, on the Thursday night, again, we've got Port Adelaide taking on Geelong at the Adelaide Oval at 7.40 p.m. bounce down time. Jeez, aren't Port Adelaide flying at the moment? They have won 10 games in a row. They're currently the form team of the comp after Collingwood lost last week. They are currently the team who are most in form. Um, and I don't know about Geelong. Geelong have sort of been, you know, a bit up and down um, as of late. Obviously, they did have the bye last week. Um, so that will probably allow them to uh, freshen up for this uh, big contest uh, against a raging, uh, almost premiership uh, contender in Port Adelaide, dare I say. Geelong are just one of those teams you just can't really, you know, underestimate because, like I said, they are the reigning premiers. So, you know, you can't underestimate them because Geelong... Every time they get underestimated Geelong, they always find a way to prove people wrong. So every time you write Geelong off, it's not really a safe bet, to be honest. But but I think I'm going to go with Port Adelaide to win this match. I just think because it's at Adelaide Oval, gives them a huge advantage. I'm going to be tipping Port Adelaide to win this match. And I'm going to tip Port Adelaide to win this one. Bye. Let's go nine points. Moving down now to the Gabba, we've got Brisbane taking on Sydney. Geez, Brisbane, well, they were a little bit disappointing last week. I, I really expected a lot more from them, especially considering I think they had a 20-point lead, I think, in the third quarter. This game is at the Gabba, so obviously it'll give the Lions a huge advantage. Sydney are not playing the best footy at the moment. I think I think it's almost safe to say uh, they may not make finals this year, the Swans. Um, they've just been so rattled by injury this year. And also, um, maybe that grand final has come back to haunt them a little bit. Jeez, I think it'd be really tough to go past Brisbane in this match. I think, you know, even though they lost last week, I think you'd say they're playing the better footy of the two. Um, Sydney, like I said, they've been inconsistent. Um, Brisbane have been very consistent, especially at the Gabba. So I think I'm going to tip Brisbane to win this one. I can't really see Sydney winning this match, although last time they did play at the Gabba, uh, the Swans did actually win, but that was back in 2021 when the Swans were playing much better footy than they are right now. Oh, I think the Lions will uh, be pretty tough to go past them in this match. I think Brisbane will win this one by 28 points. Moving down now to Giant Stadium, and we've got GWS taking on the Dockers. Ooh, interesting match this one. Um, I really like this clash. This is, this is a bit of an interesting one. Uh, GWS, you know... What is there much to say? They got a pretty good win there over North Melbourne. You know, North Melbourne have been playing better as of late, but fair play to GWS uh, putting them away in that last quarter. Um, definitely a very professional win there from the Giants. With the Dockers, they were a little bit uh, disappointing again. I really expected a bit more from them uh, after considering they had won four in a row. Um, you know, coming off the bye, I thought they'd be real fresh and real ready uh, for that Richmond game, but surprisingly they weren't and obviously as a Richmond fan I was very happy they weren't to be honest uh, but geez this makes for a very interesting contest especially considering it's at Giants Stadium I'm not really sure how the Dockers go into state this year they've sort of been a little bit up and down uh, they did lose to Brisbane at the Gabba but they did beat Melbourne at the MCG though um, so yeah it's a bit iffy with the Dockers you don't really know uh, what side you're going to get I think I'm going to tip the Dockers in this one though only just. I think it'll be a really good contest, though, to be honest. Uh, like I said, the Giants, obviously, last time they were at Giants Stadium, put up a very good fight um, against Richmond. Almost enough to steal the victory, but unfortunately, uh, they couldn't quite get home in the end. Um, but I think this will be a very interesting contest, though. I'll be keen to see uh, who wins this match out of these two sides. But... I think the Dockers are the strongest side on paper and currently so far this season. And if they want a chance to play finals this year, the Dockers, then they need to beat GWS here in this game. Uh, I'm going to tip the Dockers to win this one by... Ooh, let's go 10 points. Moving down now to the MCG, and we've got Richmond taking on St. Kilda. Oh, again, another very interesting one. Jeez. Um, yeah, Richmond last week, very pleased uh, as a Richmond fan uh, last week from what I saw. I think it's fair to say our defense absolutely saved us uh, last week, especially, you know, the likes of Nick Vlosten, Noah Bolter, um, even Dylan Grimes to an extent, um, and Jaden Short kicking three goals. Uh, that was a bit of a surprise, but... Look, as a Richmond fan coming into this game, I'm a little bit optimistic. You know, we've been playing better the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, I said this coming into the Essendon game, though, and look how that turned out. But I do really rate the Saints, though. I think they are a very quality opposition. Um, you know, they've been quite a good side this year, and they did just knock off Sydney in Sydney, which they haven't done for, what, 
12 years or something. But obviously, because I'm a Richmond fan, I'm going to go the loyal option and tip the Tigers, especially considering the way we've been playing at the moment. Um, you know, nothing against St. Kilda. I think they'll definitely put up a good fight, and I hope it's a good game. But I think Richmond, uh, you know, playing the better... Well, not I wouldn't say playing the better footy, but we've... Um, definitely been playing better um, as of late. Yeah, I'm going to be tipping Richmond to win this game. You know, nothing biased. Uh, I'm just going with my heart and my loyal option um, by tipping the Tigers. To be honest, I'm not really going to tip against Richmond uh, for the rest of the season, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm going to tip Richmond in this game, obviously. And I think we'll win this one here um, by 12 points. Moving down now to the MCG, we've got Carlton taking on Gold Coast uh, at 1.10pm bounce down time at the MCG. Wow, I can't imagine uh, being a Blues fan right now, to be honest. Louie and all the Blues fans watching this, I feel so sorry that you have to put up with this every year. It, it just It's just heartbreaking to see, to be honest. Even from a supporter who doesn't barrack for Carlton, it's just heartbreaking uh, to see the Blues uh, play you know, such ordinary footy that we all thought was behind them. Uh, where's Gold Coast, on the other hand? Been playing some pretty good footy as of late. I mean, they knocked off uh, the Bulldogs and they knocked off Adelaide. Two top eight contending sides this year. And yeah, Gold Coast really causing uh, some problems for uh, the top eight sides uh, this year. Um, being a very tough and hard side to play against. So I definitely think they'll cause a lot of problems uh, for the Blues in this match. Jeez, I don't really have any confidence tipping the Blues at the moment. So I'm sorry, Carlton fans, but I'm tipping Gold Coast. I'm sorry. I just think Gold Coast, especially after the bye, they'll be fresh. And even though it's at the MCG... The way Carlton are playing at the moment, it's just, oh, I can't I can't even fathom uh, how bad the Blues are playing at the moment. It's just unbelievable. What, they're sitting 15th. So, yeah, they've got some work to do at the moment, the Blues. I'm going to be chipping Gold Coast in this match um, in a bit of an upset, uh, according to this. Uh, but I'm going to go with it. I'm going to say Gold Coast win this one here. Uh, by 16 points. And moving down now to Marvel Stadium for the final game of round number 14. We've got North Melbourne taking on the Bulldogs uh, at 4.40pm at Marvel Stadium. Now, North Melbourne last week uh, weren't quite as competitive um, as they have been in previous rounds. Uh, the Roos, um, they did, you know, put up a fight for three quarters though. So, you know, it wasn't like they got trounced or anything, but they were outclassed in the last quarter against UWS, it's fair to say. Um, and the Bulldogs, uh, well, they need a win, to be honest, the Bulldogs. I think they've lost their last three, I think. Um, Gold Coast, Geelong, and Port Adelaide. So I think they've lost their last three. And yeah, the Bulldogs, I think they'll be desperate for a win, like I said, um, considering they have lost three in a row now. Um, they'll really want to, you know, get back to their winning ways and sort of get out of this slump before, you know, they completely drop off. Although, for some reason, again, I think North Melbourne will be competitive. I don't know why. Um, but I think the Dogs uh, will actually have to fight this one out, I think, because North Melbourne, they are a plucky side. Unlike West Coast, um, who aren't playing this week, thank God. Unlike West Coast, North Melbourne are actually a competitive side, albeit they don't win. They're actually a competitive side. So, But I think the Dogs will win this game, though, to be honest. You know, like I said, they'll have to fight it out, the Bulldogs, but... I think, you know, they've got the quality to do that, the Dogs. I think Bont needs to get back in some good form uh, here in this game. McRae's been playing well. Libba's been playing well. Um, but they just haven't quite gotten the results, um, especially up forward. You know, their forward line is a bit questionable at the moment, the Dogs. Um, Aaron Norton and Jamara need to start firing some goals as well. So I think the Bulldogs, uh, I think they should win this game here. Um, again, it'll be an arm wrestle, but the Dogs, they'll win this one here. Uh, by 18 points. Well, ladies and gentlemen, those were my round 14 tips for the 2023 AFL season. Uh, let's quickly go back over them. I tipped the Dogs uh, to beat North Melbourne at Marvel Stadium. I tipped Gold Coast to beat Carlton at the MCG as my upset of the week. I tipped Richmond to beat St. Kilda at the MCG. I tipped Frio to beat GWS at Giants Stadium. I tipped Brisbane to beat Sydney at the Gabba. And on the Thursday night, I have tipped Port Adelaide to make it 11 wins in a row here against Geelong um, at Adelaide Oval by nine points. So those were my round 14 tips, ladies and gentlemen. But before we go, as always, uh, we are going to have a check on the Fearless Nick comp. So if you haven't joined the tipping comp already, like I've said, link will be down below in the description and the pinned comment. But leading the Fearless Nick comp after 13 rounds, once again, we have got Marie T. 
um, who is currently on 80 correct tips for the season, which is crazy to be honest. That's really good stuff from you there, Marie. But yeah, Marie T is currently on top um, of the Phyllis Nick comp after 13 rounds, closely followed by Ben P on 77 correct tips in second. We've got Darcy T in third, who's on 76 correct tips. We've got Maxi Talks in fourth on 75 correct tips. We've got Shilos, who's climbed up to fifth. Uh, he got a six this week, and he's on 74 correct tips. Uh, we've got Shannon in six, who is on 74 correct tips as well. We've got Claudia in seven, who got a four this week, and is on 71 correct tips. We've got Christian in eighth, who got a four this week as well, and uh, got and is on 71 correct tips for the year. So it seems like four out of eight is sort of you know what people have been getting, like the average score, to be honest. Um, we've got Hugo in ninth, who got a three this week, and he's on 70 correct tips. We've got Cooper L in 10th, uh, who got a four this week as well, is on 70 correct tips. Uh, I'm currently in 11th, I got a four like I said, and I'm on 69 correct tips for the season. Uh, we've got Rick H in 12th, who got a five this week, and is on 69 correct tips, so he's all, he's all equal with me, but he's only behind on the margin. And back in last, again, we've got Samuel D, who's back on the bottom of the ladder after actually climbing up to, I think, 11th at one point. Uh, but unfortunately, he is back on the bottom of the ladder, but hopefully he can get off the bottom again soon. Um, he got a two this week uh, and is on 66 correct tips uh, for the season after 13 rounds. So, uh, yeah, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, those were my round 14 tips, and this is my comp ladder. Like I said, if you want to join the tipping comp, link will be down below in the description and the pinned comment and the code to join. Uh, this tipping comp will also be down below uh, in the link in the description and the pinned comment. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Those were my round 14 tips for the 2023 AFL season. Another uh, footy tipping round complete. Um, yeah, make sure to comment down below your tips for this week down below in the comments. I'd really like to know your thoughts uh, on this round. Uh, make sure to join the tipping comp if you want a chance to win a shout out and a sub at the end of the season. Um, yeah, the person who is on top of the Feel Sneak comp at the end of round 23 will win a shout out and maybe even a sub if they do have a YouTube channel that is. So if you want a chance to win that at the end of the season, then click the link down below in the description so you don't miss out. Remember to leave a like, share and subscribe if you did go and to enjoy today's video. Uh, it really, really means heaps. Um, you know, all the, all the support I've been getting on the channel recently has been really great. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers!